Michelle, first to you. Did you think, realistically, coming into this this week, that you would be going to a bronze medal game in the tournament? I've got to be honest, Chris, and say I wasn't sure what to expect from this week. I mean, we've seen the girls, we know what they're capable of, but you know, you can stand on a bench and tell somebody they can actually do something, but until they believe they're physically able to do that, then you know things don't come together. Um, I think winning the second game against Poland and you know they've not actually won Poland in the past that gave them the belief and then from that point on you know anything's possible once you believe in what you can achieve you know why stop believing it seems to me that the coaching staff had that kind of quiet belief I guess it was you knew what they were capable of maybe it was more about I think you've said this in an interview already it was instilling it into them that they were capable of it that's been the uphill battle I mean as coaches we, you know we've got quite a large uh, coaching staff as you know there's five of us um, but we've always believed in the squad that we've put together you know we've had people say you've got such a young squad I don't honest, honestly believe that makes a difference. Age um, has no bearing on ability. You could be 15 and you know don't have the skills. You can be 13 and have all the skills in the world. It depends how you are as a person um, to how much you want something. And we've sat there and you know banged his head on brick walls to, to find a way of getting the team to believe that they're capable of winning. And I think it's only until they actually win a game. Um, that they believe that and c going 2-0 up against Poland in Sheffield we saw a glimpse that you know they have got the ability to do it and I also think for the players that played in that game it gave them a glimpse that you know with you know, the right attitude and the right belief you know we can actually win some games. James two things about Australia really two questions in one they, they gave you a, a good game so that obviously credit to them I think they should be applauded but also the performance by GB probably wasn't as good as, let's say, the Poland game, but was the result probably at this stage just kind of the main thing? Yeah, the, in international hockey, the, the aim of the game is just to get points. It, goals are good, um, but you want points. You need to win a game to get the points, to get your rankings, to get your standings. That's how it works. Um, all credit to Australia. I think they just, for their third game that they've played, they worked so hard, they skated so hard, but equally all credit to our girls. You can never play every game and it'll be brilliant. You can never play every period and win it. But what makes you win games is when you have bad periods, but you all pull together and you just grind through, which is what basically the girls had to do. They, they had to grind through that game to make sure they won. It was the, probably the hardest game mentally for them. Um, physically, maybe they could have skated faster and worked harder, but mentally, um, I think a lot of them overcome some barriers which they probably never realised that they had.